Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for November 11th of 2025 is titled Jupiter in Ultraviolet from Hubble. So, what do we see here? Well, here as you might expect, we see the planet Jupiter, and that is the largest planet in the solar system. And if you've seen pictures of it before, this one probably looks a little different. In fact, we're getting different colors in this. And that's because this is a false color image looking in the ultraviolet. Since our eyes are not sensitive to ultraviolet light, in order to see the various lights there, we have to add colors to them to do something that our eyes are actually able to see. Now, the Hubble Space Telescope can image in the near-ultraviolet and near-infrared. Those are wavelengths that are a little bit long, shorter and a little bit longer than visible light, respectively, but they're the parts of those spectrum that are relatively close to the visible parts. So the Hubble Space Telescope is still able to focus those lights and give us images such as we see here today. Now, we can also see a few things here. In fact, the great red spot, while it doesn't look red down there in the very lower corner, a little bit to the left, that is the great red spot, which is a great storm that has been watched on Jupiter for hundreds of years now. In fact, almost since the advent of the telescope, a large spot was seen and that would have been in the late 1600s. There's another storm closer to the center there, a little over, almost right at the lower center of the image. And the other dot towards the upper left-hand side would actually be one of the moons of Jupiter known as Ganymede. That is the largest moon in the solar system and is actually larger in size, although not in mass, than the planet Mercury. So why do we still study Jupiter with the Hubble Space Telescope when we have other craft such as the Juno craft out there at Jupiter right now? Well, the whole idea is you get two different views. Hubble is able to give us the wide field view of Jupiter and seeing the entire area of the storms in the in this planet's atmosphere. Now that then coupled with Juno's up close looks when it dives in close to Jupiter's surface and having the wider field views like this one from Hubble help to give us a more context for the various areas that Juno sees. And that helps give us a more complete understanding of the giant planet. So Hubble is programmed to regularly observe Jupiter and to tie that in with the close approaches that occur about once a month for Juno, which stays in a very elliptical orbit, zipping in close to the planet once in a while and spending its most of its time well away from Jupiter and its very strong and damaging magnetic fields. So that was our picture of the day for November 11th of 2025. It was titled Jupiter in Ultraviolet from Hubble. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be moon bands. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.